It has been a while, so let's take a drive to the tiny lake house. I'm gonna show you the progress so far, plus all of the issues we've been having and how we've had to pivot for every single one. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, about to get away. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me, cause I'm gonna be on Sunny day, sunny day. Welcome to our tiny lake house. It's almost done. Just kidding, it's not almost done. Come on in. My husband Sean and I are working on our second vacation rental renovation. This is a tiny 467 square foot cottage a couple blocks from the lake. We started this renovation in June of this year hoping to complete it sometime this summer but of course our renovation is going much longer than planned. We're waiting on so many different things but we have got a lot done. Since I last chatted with you about the tiny lake house, Sean has completely reshingled the entire thing plus he's installed in floor heating, he's installed the new subfloor, he's installed all the new plumbing, all the gas, plus he's almost finished the electrical. Sean's also installed all of the new energy efficient windows and a new front door and back door. We're just about ready for inspections for all of the rough-ins and then comes my favorite part, drywall, where everything starts looking like a real house and we can work on the finishes. So right here we have this really tiny little hallway and it isn't exactly the width that we planned. It ended up being a few inches shorter than I was, or, or narrower than I was hoping for in the drawings. I don't know how that worked. I don't know how it works either. <laughs> it's really funny with measurements sometimes. I don't know. I put it all in place where we were supposed to have it. And then I went to go open the door and I realized that it was hitting the wall. So then Oops. I was like, okay, so then we gotta move it over a little bit. So then we moved it over, but we're still like within very close to what she wanted to begin with. I yeah, believe. and we're definitely realizing that with a tiny, tiny space like this, this is essentially a tiny home. We have to be very creative with how everything's um, fitting in here. We're gonna build a little niche here. So when you open the door, there's gonna be a nice little niche and a mirror and maybe a spot to put your keys so you don't feel so claustrophobic. But really when you open the door, it opens up almost immediately into the living room area. So I think it's gonna actually look really nice. I think it'll be fine. It'll be gorgeous. Cute little bench back there. It's gonna be so cute. Okay, and then over here, I actually like how this is turning out. So it is a narrow hallway, but it opens up right into the open area in the home. So we're gonna have the kitchen, dining area, we installed this new patio door here, and then this is going to be the living room right here. So you can see that we installed some new windows here. These are nice and big and fresh. Of course, like every other renovation we've done, this is going on longer than planned, and there's always obstacles along the way. So let's talk about the, the windows. Uh, we did have to end up getting vinyl slider windows from Home Depot um, because what we did was we looked into getting more custom windows, but number one, they were like $10,000 for the package of windows and doors we wanted. Number two, they weren't ready until October, everywhere yes. we looked. So we ended up just getting ones that were already in stock from Home Depot. They are vinyl sliders, but they are energy efficient and they look so much better than the originals. We were able to get all the sizes we needed. Plus I think we got some pretty cute doors too. Yes, the doors are nice. <laughs> We're gonna have this amazing sofa bed here. I can't wait to share with you what's gonna go on there. This was fantastic. And then over here, we're gonna have a corner little fireplace with a TV and then a new window here. So this is the nice living area. Tiny, but it's looking great. Also decided to install a wall sconce here because once the sofa is in here, there's not gonna be much room for floor lamp and you always want that ambient task lighting. So there, we're gonna have a wall sconce here. And then if you come on over here, We decided to do a garden door on the back with a full window so that you get the nice view to the backyard. And it's gonna add so much light into the space. I also love the cute front door that we installed, very craftsman, very cottage. And then this is going to be the little round dining table right here with some chairs by the window. And then over here is going to be the kitchen. I'm actually really excited about this and now I'm able to kind of see how it's gonna to come to life. So we're gonna have basically everything along this back wall. I have the cutest little appliances that came in. I cannot wait to show you those. They're gonna be so perfect. Stove, sink, tiny little dishwasher, and amazing fridge. 
we have the sink centered under the window with another sconce and then we're going to have a peninsula right here and that's going to be the coffee bar area with some shelving and cute mugs and everything there and so what you had to do was move this window over so it was centered over the sink yes yes that's what i did <laughs> <laughs> That's what I really wanted. Fingers crossed. Was yes. that it was centered over the sink, and then the the plumbing Sean installed here for centered over the sink, uh, and then we have a wall sconce, which Sean loves when I design wall sconces and put them randomly. Yes. We're gonna have a wall sconce in the living room, and then I wanted some. Oh, did you put them in yet? The pendant lights over the island. These, and then I have. Oh no, I don't have the oh. pendants over the island just yet. There will be pendants over the island. Yes, there's going to be pendants over the island. <laughs> I just, yes. Uh, all right. I got the pot lights. Yeah. Pot those are light, great. pot light, right? Yeah. Pot light, pot light. And then, yes, I was going to do the pendants. Yeah, next. and then we were just talking, having a um, discussion about the pocket door into the bathroom and how that was gonna work there. So we're just trying to figure out how that's gonna work with how you have the plumbing. But we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out and yeah. we'll be great. Over here you can see the bathroom taking shape. This is teeny tiny, it's only 5'3 by 5'6. It's gonna be a whole wet room, but you can see it taking shape with the toilet there. Uh, the shower's gonna go in the corner and then a pedestal stink, sliding door, and then in here is going to be the main bedroom, or the only bedroom, I guess. <laughs> so it's actually a pretty good size. It's about nine by 10, I believe, or eight and a half by 10. And we're gonna have a nice door there. And then the bed is going to go right here. It's a really cute little cottage style bed that I found on Wayfair with a couple end tables on either side. Nice big window, we'll do a drape treatment. And then in here, we have the tiniest little mechanical room, so somehow we're gonna have to fit all of the mechanical plus a washer dryer in here. It's gonna be tight, it's gonna be cozy. We have the electrical panel in here, but because we have a tankless hot water heater, I think it's going to be just enough for what we need. We'll probably do a sliding barn door or something like that here just to give it a little bit of interest. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this tiny lake house update. Thanks to my amazing husband for appearing on video with me. I know he loves it. I do. I know he loves to say hi to you all. Yes. If you like DIY and decor ideas on a budget, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for the next tiny lake house update. You should have done the other hand. Still time. <laughs> Still time.